morning. Today's vlog is a work with me and I'm gonna be talking about how I navigate my mental health and doing some home updates. So if you're into that, I'm Dolores and welcome to Flourish with Dolores. On my channel, I teach you how to embrace your journey and remember that flourishing is about progress and not perfection, honey. So let's get right into it. It is 9.15 and um, I already did my morning workout, took a shower, got into some emails. My workout's only 15 minutes, so you guys are probably like, how did, how did you do all that? Um, I only do 15 minutes just so it's more realistic and less burdensome for me. Um, but yes, so I'm ready to start the day and get into these emails and work and home updates and everything else that I wanna share with you today. So let's get it. All right, so let's get to it today. Um, for work, I'm gonna be, have two meetings. I have a 10 o'clock and then I have an 11.30 that goes until one o'clock. Um, but in between that, I need to catch up on some work emails which is pretty much an everyday thing and um i need to work on our orientation we're having another orientation in march and that is for our students who are starting in um, the summer and then i need to do some um, work on some programming that we're having in march and april for work um, for our students so that is work and then for flourish with dolores i need to post today's youtube video so i upload on wednesdays and saturdays i'm still toying between sundays or saturdays i'm not sure which one but definitely comment below when are you guys watching my youtube videos um that would definitely be helpful in knowing when to upload but right now it's wednesdays and saturdays so i need to upload today's video I want to post on Instagram today and then I want to do some content planning. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about my mental health um, later on today with you all. But one of the things that I think will help me not feel as anxious all the time is content planning ahead of time. So today after work, I'm really going to sit down and try to plan out what am I doing for the month for Flourish with Dolores's um, Flourishing in Love, our Facebook group. What am I doing with our with my Instagram this month? And what am I doing um, for YouTube this month? So I think if I can just plan some content ahead of time, I'll feel less anxious, hopefully. Um, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. But let's hop on it with work. Actually, before we do work, I just want to show you I am... Yeah, I don't know how smooth I could do this because I have you guys on a tripod, but I am, let's see, let me get in front of the mirror. There you go. I think you can see me. So I am like a work in the front and then chill on bottom with my sweats. Um, it's comfy socks. So it's all about comfort today for me. This top is from Shein. Um, so it's cute, but it's also comfortable and that is what we are doing today Let's jump right in Well, 104. Um, I just finished um, my staff meeting. Um, that was from 11:30 to 1, and then I finished a meeting that was actually a 10 about um, academic support services. So I also called a student of concern to check in on her, make sure she's good. So um, those things are done, and then I did a ton of work on orientation. Um, so what's left is programming, but it's time for me to take a break. My eyes hurt from staring at the screen and let's just chat while I show you my office and do a little organizing of it. Um, and I want to call some therapists um, and psychiatrists during this little break that I'm going to take. Um, so hopefully we can get all that done. And then, yeah, so I'm just so tired because... I went to bed at 11. Um, actually, before I start telling you the story, let me show you guys the office so I can clean while we chat. 
Um, so there has been changes. If you watch my videos, um, you would have seen um, my office already, but there has been changes since. I have a new desk. I love it. It is huge, first of all, but I like it because I can grow with it. So although it's a little big for this room, actually, it's not even a little big for this room. It's perfect for this room. Let me see if I can stand further back. My office is a mess, by the way, but that's what we're going to do today is clean it up. Hopefully when Charles gets home from work, he can help with the curtains. So we finally have that up. I'm going to put on the screen what curtains actually wanted to do, but I'm just not a do-it-yourself girl, so I can't. <laughs> I'm going to just let that go. But this is the desk, and um, the legs of the desk are gold. And then it has, like, these really cute three, actually, three... Um, drawers which I love so just really obsessed with it and then I got this couch which um the reason why I got it was because it one when Charles hangs out with me when I'm working it's nice for him to have somewhere to sit but two this folds out into a bed so I just figured I don't know one day when we're not in this pandemic and um oh my waist beads are out one day when we're not in this pandemic and we could have family and friends over Hopefully, um, you know, if we need like extra space, I mean, we do have a bedroom downstairs and our couch has a pullout bed, but this office is technically our third bedroom. So I still wanted it to be a bedroom option. So this mess over here is what we're going to organize. So basically when Charles, um, put together this desk, I just dumped everything out of my old desk and have slowly been organizing stuff, but I can't look at this mess for any longer. So let's clean it up while we chat. So I went to bed um, at 11 um, p.m. last night and I woke up at four in the morning and have not was not able to sleep. So at four, I started just overthinking um, as I usually do. And then by then, by the time I like realized it, it was seven in the morning and I just couldn't sleep. So I was like, you know what? Let me just start the day. And I really want to work on that because I'm just experiencing too much like overwhelm and anxiety. And I feel like it's really messing with my mental health. And the reason why I wanted to share this is because one, my channel is about not being about perfection, um, but progress because flourishing is about progress and not perfection. But I do have to admit, I have to call myself out because I keep it real with y'all, that many times I just get so stuck on trying to be perfect. Not perfect in the sense that, you know, I want to just have it all together and have it all going on, but just perfect in the sense of the hard work I put in, I want to see that effort, that the, the fruition of my effort come to light. And... You know, with what I'm doing with YouTube and Instagram and branding, all of that takes time. It's a consistency game. It's a, you know, long haul game. And so I just have to keep reminding myself that I'm not going to have all of that together right away. Um, but I, you know what? It's not even a social media, you know, vying for likes and approval thing. I think a lot of my anxiety is contributed to that because... A lot of your success when you're in the game of social media does have to do with, you know, how many likes you're getting, how many views you're getting. So, yeah, you know, I can't admit that that contributes to it, but I don't think that's the majority of the reason where my anxiety is stemming from. I just think I'm just just an overachiever in general. And because I was the same way when I was doing my doctorate, like... I would overthink, I would have a hard time sleeping, I was always trying to think about how I can do better, how I can get that A. But I think the difference between when I was getting my doctorate and now is that I had a blueprint of how to get an A. I knew if I studied A, B, C, D or did A, B, C, D paper, I could potentially get an A. If I worked hard, I'd get the A. So that was a little bit, you know, more satisfying. Whereas this is like delayed gratification. Like just because I put out a good video doesn't mean people are going to watch because they don't know who I am. So that can get to me mentally because I'm just like staying up all night, not purposely because I don't think that's healthy. I try to go to bed. I listen to my calm apps to like meditate or read. I pray. I do devotionals. I really do try to turn off my brain, but just the way my brain works, I'm just like 
constantly in overdrive like how can I get better how can I do better and so you know I feel like the lack of sleep and just being so hard on myself it sounds weird saying this about myself but I'm a pretty loving and you know person when it comes to other people I, I extend people so much grace but I notice that I don't give myself a lot of grace and so that's what I'm trying to be better at and I'm just calling myself out on my channel because I don't want people to watch me and just think like she has it all together she must not be struggling but like I really am struggling with overthinking with just feeling so much anxiety all the time with like trying to do better trying to be better and it can really really affect my mental health and so after I clean this up I'm gonna get on the phone with some therapists and see if I can get back into therapy I had a therapist maybe four months ago she was good um, after a while I felt like her style just wasn't working for me anymore and I think that because I'm a person with high functioning anxiety meaning that I have anxiety I feel anxiety but it's not debilitating to the point where I'm not able to get up and work I'm not able to do the things I'm doing with my business I think sometimes it's hard for a therapist to diagnose me as depressed or having anxiety because I'm still functioning so it's hard to tell because I'll still come smile kiki like everything is all good even though inside I'm struggling so I just want to share that for anybody who's watching who may be having that same feeling but isn't sure what to do with it because they don't necessarily fit the mold of sitting in bed all day not able to get up but it doesn't mean that how you're feeling isn't valid and that you shouldn't be getting help because you know I y'all know if you've been watching my videos you know I love God I pray I have faith um, that God will see me through but one thing the Bible also says is faith without work is dead so when it comes to your mental health you know work includes identifying what can help your anxious feelings or your depression or you know whatever it is that you may be experiencing work can include for you exercise you know maybe that's something that can help with your anxiety or finding a therapist when there's nothing wrong with that um, i sure will be you know trying to find psychiatrists and therapists today work also can include for you maybe eating better maybe surrounding yourself with positive affirming people but not only what other people are telling you and the validation that they're giving you but also extending yourself grace and some self-compassion you know and i'm telling you guys this but trust me i'm telling myself and so that's why this morning i'm trying to like i do really well when i have a routine so this morning i got up i did my workout and all of that makes me feel a lot better but I just need to be able to stick to the routine and I think moving and all the transitions that happened in life and also just being in a pandemic, you know, it's really hard to stick to a routine because some days you just don't want to do anything. And, you know, I'm just sharing this so that you know that that's okay, but I just want you to work towards feeling better and doing what you need to do every day to get there and it's not necessarily what I do it's what's going to work for you and giving yourself grace to start every day as a new day instead of feeling like kicking yourself because yesterday wasn't what you wanted it to be or how you wanted it to look like well today's a new day so what can we do that can help make you feel better so again this is me to me and me to you so um I just wanted to share that because even this morning when I woke up at four, like I just cannot turn my brain off from thinking, okay, what could I be doing better on Instagram? What could I be doing better on social media? And I got to the point where I was like, you know what, if this is gonna keep keeping me up and I'm overthinking and it's affecting my anxiety and my mental health, and I just probably need to delete Instagram and YouTube and just be done, like just quit. And as soon as I told myself that, I was like, but I don't wanna quit. I love this, you know, so. I love it in the sense that I love, you know, the people I've met on Instagram and have been able to connect to and really feel like I've helped, you know, my coaching clients. Like, I I love being of service when it comes to that. And who oh, had to get off that floor? But I love being of service when it comes to that. And I, I also believe that this is a part of my calling, like connecting with people sharing my story in an effort to help heal others and to help others know that they aren't alone in this struggle that i'm also experiencing and i do feel like that it's a calling for me and one of the reasons why i do is because i'm that girl fun fact when i was in 
middle school, there was a lot of bullying happen, happening, including myself, I was getting bullied. And I came up with the idea to do a PSA documentary in middle school and interview people because I was hearing like other people, even some of the cool kids feeling like they were being bullied or not treated right. So I wanted to do a PSA, which is so funny now when I think about it because it's literally my life now. This is eighth grade Dolores or seventh, was it seventh or eighth grade? I think eighth. But I wanted to do a PSA and interview my classmates about their bullying experiences, how that makes them feel and why we should stop it. And my high school principal was like, when are you gonna have time to do this? And I negotiated with him that I would do the PSA documentary in place of taking health. So during my health class period, I would skip health and go film my classmates talking about bullying in the lunchroom or wherever I could find them. And then I put together this video. So me putting together videos, me sharing stories, me really trying to, you know, impact the world on that level in terms of what I can do through, through the media really does feel like my calling. And I really do love what I do, but your health is always going to be more important. And if that means taking breaks, you know, I've done fast where I take breaks. Um, you can check out my faith e-guide um, in the episode where I talked about finding your calling. I've done that and that definitely helps. Um, the only problem for me is that with social media and, you know, trying to grow on YouTube and Instagram, I can't take a break every week, you know, because I, I want to be consistent so I can grow. So now I'm trying to figure out how do I maintain my mental health but also stay consistent and so one of those things is getting back into therapy talking to a um, psychiatrist to discuss you know what it is that I need to feel less anxious all the time and to stop putting so much pressure on myself to be successful and not only like to be successful because I feel like everyone defines that differently but you know I want to stop putting pressure on myself to always hit this mark you know like with YouTube for example like I would love to have a thousand subscribers by June so I can start monetizing and all the effort that I put into YouTube you know I could start making money off of that I would love to do that and at night I'm thinking okay how do I get there how do I get there how do I get there but if, if that's causing me not to sleep <laughs> If that's causing me not to feel good about myself, then you know, that's not healthy. So anyway, I say all that to say that that is why therapy is important. That is why, of course, prayer and leaning on God, digging into the Bible, remembering what God says about you is important, um, eating right, whatever it is that, you know, just really take the time to really think like, what is it that I need to do to make myself feel better, to have a healthier life? And for me, I'm at the point where, one, I need to get more into a routine again. Two, God willing, this pandemic will be over and I can be with my friends and, you know, be able to focus on things that bring me joy in terms of, like, fellowship and hanging out with my friends. I mean, I do that through Flourishing in Love, our date nights, which has been so fun and via Zoom. But at this point, I want to be on somebody's island, you know, with my girls and just you know enjoying that aspect of life but i hope this was helpful um for you to share um for me i hope this was helpful for me to share with you and i know it was like a lot of word vomit but it came from my heart and you know i definitely want to be more vulnerable with you all so i'm going to go on psychology today and find a psychiatrist or therapist. I want to try, I've never tried a psychiatrist. Um, comment below if you have. I definitely want to try one because I've had therapists, but we'll see what I can find and I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Someone was asking me the other day, how do I manage, you know, my career plus my business plus being a wife and managing household. I can definitely do a sit down video on that um, as soon, um, but I also wanted you guys to see in real life, like, how it's a struggle <laughs> like there's no perfect balance and you know day one it's just important to take care of yourself however whatever that looks like to you um and so for me right now that's getting on the phone with these therapists and making my appointment um so i really want to alleviate this anxiety i've been feeling so yeah let me do that now i wanted to grab some food 
before I start calling. I have a half a wrap from last night and um, this is the leftover rotisserie chicken. If you watch my Valentine's Day idea video, uh, we had some leftover barbecue rotisserie chicken. So I just took the onions and peppers that were left from that and the chicken and made a wrap um, last night for dinner for us and it was really good. So looking forward to having that. Um, but one of the things I wanted to tell you guys, I already pulled up all the therapists I want to call and psychiatrists I want to call. Um, when I was up at four in the morning, I was like, I can't do this anymore. So I started looking up um, psychiatrists and therapists. So I have like five, five or six tabs open um, for psychology today. Um, so I'm going to call while I eat. But one of the things I wanted to mention when I was talking about, um, you know, sometimes seeking um, approval from social media or different things like that you define as success that you're chasing like even if you can even if you had it like you can have it all and still be an unhappy inside or still feel anxious feelings or still feel um like you may be depressed and you know sometimes we have our our mind towards a goal that we want to reach and it's like god if i reach that goal i just know i'll be happy but it just, I, I, you know, I'm learning to, I'm coming to realize like it doesn't always work like that. Like you have to do inner work in order to feel true joy and happiness. It doesn't matter if you got a husband, if you got a house, if you got a doctorate. <laughs> um, if you have all those things that we define as success, like you, the most important thing is to feel peace within or you're always going to be chasing satisfaction, always going to be chasing happiness. And I was talking to a YouTuber that I look up to who gets a million views on her video and she told me that she goes through bouts of depression where she stopped youtubing because you know she got used to getting a million views so that to the point where if she got 300,000 views on on a video she would just stay in bed all day crying wondering why that video wasn't good enough and I'm like girl 300,000 like give me that but anyway I say that I share that story to share that like and she was sharing it with me too is like if you get into this or really into anything, I'm just using YouTube as an example, um, and you're chasing the views, you're chasing how success is defined for that, once you get it, you still may not be happy within if you're not doing that inner work. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I'm definitely like, okay, if, if I'm already getting so anxious at this stage, I need to be making sure that I'm setting that foundation and doing that inner work before I continue to grow. And also if I'm not doing it, how can I grow? Because God forbid you drive yourself crazy, you know? Anyway, so let me start calling um, these people. Hi, um, how are you? My name is Dolores Sarfo Darko. I was calling to inquire um, about making an appointment with this therapist that I just found that I really liked, um, based off of her bio, unfortunately she's not taking new patients, but that's okay. We're going to keep searching. This psychiatrist, um, does holistic therapy, which I like. Welcome to Bright Minds MD. This is Gianna and I am the assistant and first point of contact. All right. So that one, um, have to get online and schedule with her, but that's good. She's accepting clients. At the tone, please record your voice message. Hi, my name is Dolores Sarfodarko, calling to inquire about <clears throat> um, starting um, a care plan. I got my personal computer so I can fill out that intake form for that psychiatrist. Not a fan of mixing business and pleasure, so work computers over there. And I'm going to do it on my personal computer. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I ordered a new chair. I'm going to put it up on the screen. It should be here sometime in February. But it's more ergonomic. And I feel like since I'm always at my desk, it's important to be comfortable, you know? I'm taking care of myself in all types of ways. <clears throat> Alright, y'all. It is 3.13. I called a couple places. Um signed up for an appointment through a, a portal. I don't have an official appointment yet, but I like enrolled and they're not going to be, they're taking appointments through mid-March. So it's going to be a while till I get in. So I decided to leave a couple messages for a couple people. And then I jumped on and just started working because I think by then it was like 
like 145 and I wanted to get back to work so I'm gonna keep plugging away with work and then take a break do my content calendar um I already scheduled my video to upload which is good because last night I worked on the thumbnail and everything so I just had to do the description um but who are your favorite youtubers I'm actually watching youtube now as I work um comment below who some of your favorite youtubers are who I should check out um i've gotten really into watching youtube lately especially vlogs i love vlogs um and if you're watching this i'm assuming you love vlogs too <clears throat> but yes back to work baby <laughs> All right, friends, it is 5.30. I am done work working. And I wanna do the content planning, but I'm also very tired. Um, I actually finished working like 30 minutes ago and we just had a quick dinner. I made the wraps. But um, this, I bought this from, was it the Dollar Tree? Or Walgreens? Um, but just like a nice big calendar to like plan out my posts and different things I want to do. So I want to do that tonight, but a part of me kind of just feels like I want to lay down. This is so funny. Until we hang our curtains, which we're still waiting to get in, I still like the room to be really dark. So we've just been like hanging those up there. Ooh, my battery's going to die. Let's see how much I can do before we hang up. But the pillows are looking cute. Um, but I want to show you guys some home updates. Um... So our living room, say hi Charles. Babe, say hi. My boo's doing the dishes. Um, so we got our couch, y'all. So this is um, from Fabletics. I don't know if I told my YouTube family I'm a Fabletics partner. Thank God for that. So they just sent me our February, um, I don't even know what you call it, but basically my February outfit that is going to be a sponsored post. And then my line sister, um, Brittany and her wife and my niece Poo got me, um, us, uh, me and Charles, these housewarming gifts. I love this. It says, give God your weakness and he will give you his strength. Amen, amen, amen. And then some uh, more baking stuff, which is like amazing, so appreciative. But I wanna also show you guys this couch. So it's supposed to be a three piece sectional. So we're missing the third piece. They said that the color didn't come in right, so they have to reorder and custom color it, but they still wanted to drop off the two pieces, but look at this, y'all. The cushions, I want you guys to see, the cushions have a stain, actually two stains. So they're gonna replace the cushion because I didn't want them to have to lug the sofa out, bring it back in, and just do a bunch of extra stuff, so I tried to make it easy, work with them. So they're just gonna replace the two cushions when they bring, hopefully at some point, the other piece of the sectional. So that is our home update. And now that the couch is here, I'll start looking at curtains for the living room. This stuff, I'll start to put up there and just start decorating. It's so nice to start, you know, to have everything coming together. And you guys seen our table. Um, when in the if you watch the Valentine's Day video, you've seen our table. I'm still torn on whether I should do. Let me turn the camera around. I'm still torn on whether I should do. We just ate on these two settings, but they won't be like the official settings. But I'm torn on whether I should do a table runner or like nice place settings. So comment below what you think. So all of these pieces are from Raymore and Flanagan, by the way. The couch, dining table. Um, these bar stools, but I'm also not sure if we should do curtains in the dining room. Like, I definitely want to do um, some sort of artwork right here, but I'm torn with the curtains because, you know, would I put curtains in the kitchen and the dining room? Would it look weird to just have curtains in the dining room? So, I don't know. I'm leaning towards just leaving it, but comment below your thoughts. Definitely interested in that, and then also comment if I should do the table runner or the place settings but thank you for hanging out with me today um i'm gonna go do some resting change some pajamas get comfortable and then if i have some energy i'm gonna start doing the content planning um i would take you guys with me but i want to get comfy in bed if you made it this far comment curtains or no curtains so i know you're a real one <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video
Peace and take care of yourself. You are your most valuable asset. Love y'all.